Welcome to DBSync. Today we'll be looking at Oracle Fusion CRM integration with Oracle eBusiness Suite using our DBSync application. You'll be looking at a simple process from moving an opportunity into an invoice. And as part of the demo, we'll look into Oracle Fusion CRM, mark an opportunity, and explain a general concept of what an opportunity looks like in this demo. DBSync will transform and map it, and will then push it into Oracle eBusiness Suite, creating an invoice. Once an invoice is created, it will generate an email notification. In this case, I will look at the invoice number generated by Oracle eBusiness Suite, and then go back into Oracle eBusiness and navigate to the invoice and view the newly created invoice and with that, let's jump into the demo. We are now logged into Oracle Fusion CRM. So let's go ahead and navigate to an opportunity. We have already set up one opportunity, test DB Sync. So in this opportunity, we have Market as Vision Seattle as Sales Account. We'll be integrating with the default Vision database that comes along with EBS. You can have any number of fields that you can map. What we have installed here is a generate field. You can mark it as generate, and that will tell our engine that this opportunity is ready to be moved into Oracle eBusiness Suite. We have a line item added for this opportunity with 10 digits of $200. So once the user completes the setup, it marks it as invoice and it gets queued up to be set into Oracle eBusiness Suite. DBSync will sweep all the records looking for all the processes which are marked as generate. Pick those up and do the transformation and move it into eBusiness Suite. Next, we'll look at how DBSync is set up and, in general, how are the configurations structured. We are now logged into DBSync's Cloud Workflow Engine. And as you can see, there are many profiles we will navigate down to Oracle Fusion CRM and EBS integration. Within DBSync, you can set up multiple adapters, and we have Oracle EBS 12 adapter. And a couple of things you will see in the setup is the URL, where the EBS is installed, and the location of the stubs. DBSync has the ability to import client-specific stubs to communicate through your web services interface. You have the login ID and password to log into EBS and also to connecting to the database. Many times, when connecting to EBS, not everything can be obtained off the web services, at least the standard web services, in which case we have to query the database. So all the knowledge is already baked into the implementation here, where we create the invoice, create the database, and find out what the invoice numbers are and export it. Everything is baked into the application. Similarly, we have to set up Oracle Fusion CRM. It's simple to set up with the username and password and the location of Oracle Fusion instance, which is on the cloud. This is a sample integration. We start, we end, and in process, we move the data. You can have the notification email sent to a particular email address, and in this case, it will come to my email address. As part of your workflow, you read, map, and write what we have done in the Oracle Fusion Reader. We have wrapped it up into a simplified query language like C4, and you can write the query that starts from the opportunity where the trigger point is, in this case, an invoice we will sweep and process downstream. Similarly with EBS, we have WSDL location. 
and the email in which you need the notification of the written parameters. The call to create the single invoice, you can import as many services in EBS as you like. In this case, we've just imported the create single invoice service. Then you have maps. Within the maps, you have all the elements defined for source and target, and then you can actually map each one of them and how you can handle loops. You can have many other things baked in. You have a lot of pre-built functions, and if this is not enough, you can actually write Java codes within the mapping, so there is lots of flexibility. So that's pretty much it at this point. You can click Run, and you will see a running log as integration proceeds. You can also use a built-in scheduler to sweep periodically all the business documents that you've backed into EBS to Fusion CRM. So once the integration is completed, as part of the setup, you will receive an email notification, which will come to my inbox. And then we can go from there to the invoice number created and navigate back into the EBS. So here I see an email pop-up, 104090, and the next step will be to navigate into eBusiness Suite to see how it looks within the accounting system. We are now in Oracle eBusiness Suite and you are looking at the fine transaction stream within EBS, so we will search for 104090. Once we find it, you can see the invoice is created with the customer we attached and the taxes are calculated and all of the business rules figured within Oracle eBusiness Suite. If we look at the line item, we see that what we have pushed has come across with quantity, unit price, and amount. So that concludes the demonstration of eBusiness Suite and Oracle Fusion CRM integration using DBSync. Thank you for watching this video of Oracle Fusion CRM and EBS integration using DBSync. If you want to find more information on how to get started, please visit us at our website, www.mydbsync.com.